Okay, welcome everyone to the jungle here at the UMFK campus. I'm Cody Tracy alongside Scott Brickman. Resident musicologist here at UMFK. Are you ready for today's game, Scott? Yes, I am. And, and in all seriousness, Cody, UMFK Lady Bengals, three in a row. Three in a row, so they're on a roll here. And we got some good additions to our team uh, this spring semester. Whitney Sinclair, fresh off her second national championship in soccer. Yes, uh, Whitney Sinclair, uh, Arcilla Jeffers, and Ziggy Brown. So, and thank you for being back, Cody. The last webcast was a rough one without you. I'm sure you did fine. <laughs> no. All right, way to go, Jen. Rebounded by Jen Colpitz for the Bengals. She brings the ball up, goes over to Megan Land. Nice bounce pass. Colpitz looks inside to Boucher, finds his way back out to Mal Caesar. Megan Land for three, no good. Ooh. Rebounded by Caesar. Good hustle, Mal. Boucher now on the wing, she looks inside, nothing there, kicks out to Mal Caesar. Sees her back over to Boucher. She goes up for three. No good. Rebounded by Canton. Turnover there for Canton. It's going to be Lady Bengal basketball. Crump couldn't handle the pass. Cole Pitts to inbound to Taylor Boucher. Mal Caesar dumps it inside to Q Young. She goes up off the glass. Ooh. No good. Rebounded by Caitlin Myers of Canton. Shot put up now by Canton. That's no good. Rebound out of bounds to UMFK. So, Cody, this is also going to be my last webcast of the year so because uh, next next uh, home game, you're going to be on your own. I'm away in Alabama at a music conference. Well, I'll just have to recruit some new talent <laughs> then, I guess. Huh? It's a, con it's a conference. Now, Caesar. <laughs> Woo! 15-foot jumper. That's good. Way to go, Mal. UMFK draws first blood. 2 nothing here in the opening quarter of basketball. Nice pass, intercepted by Megan Land. She forwards ahead to Taylor Boucher. Boucher goes up for the shot, no good. Rebounded by Canton. Caitlin Myers with the rebound there. Rebound by Caesar, tipped out of bounds. Timeout called by Canton. I know this might be a little bit inappropriate. I remember this coach from last year. This guy is... Fired up? Well, I'll... Okay, we'll go with fired up. <laughs> let, let, let's, let's just say, in my humble opinion, he could uh, benefit from watching a couple of episodes of Mr. Rogers or Sesame Street or something. <laughs> or just take your music class. That's always nice, there, and, uh, nice it, it, and relaxing. It's, it's a good stress reliever. Yep. Uh-oh, there's Lisa Field. How you doing? Yeah, sure. It's all right. You're 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 all right, Lisa. Taylor Boucher in the wing now for the Lady Bengals. She finds Megan Land at the top of the key inside to Mal Caesar. Oh, Boucher can't handle the pass there. Intercepted by Canton. Corinne Regal runs the offense for the State University of New York Kangaroos. Pass dumped oh. inside to number 25. That's Shoot. Brittany Crump. She goes off the glass for two and the foul. Foul called on Q. Yeah. Quintina Young with her first foul of the game. Brittany 
Brittany Crump for Canton gives her team a one-point lead, 17 minutes remaining in Ru the first half. Ruse are up 3-2 now. Kolpitz drives the lane. She goes up off the glass, no ah. good. Jen Re gets the rebound. Gets her own rebound. Carrying violation called on Kolpitz. Kangaroos inbound to Brittany, uh, Corinne Regal. On the way, three-point attempt on the way. That's no good. Rebounded by Mal Caesar. Arcilla, who is on the bench right now, is great on the boards. But uh, Lady Bengals have really improved both their offensive and defensive rebounding. Especially defensive. Yes. Erica Christensen checks in for the Lady Bengals. Got enough room, Keith? All right. Oh! Stump it inside. That's tipped. Some good hustle on D there. Maintained by Canton. Well, nice move there. Whoa. Some good sportsmanship by Erica Christensen. I don't know if you saw that. Ball kicked out to the top of the key. Shot attempt no good. Rebounded again by Canton. Brittany Crump now at the top of the key. She shoots. Ooh, That's that was good. Nice. That was nice. Long two-pointer there from Brittany Crump. Not for us, but unfortunately, got to give credit where credit's due. 5-2 Canton. Lady Bengals now on the offensive. Mal Caesar puts up a shot. Ooh, That's yeah. good for two. Way to go, Mal. Mal Caesar with all four Lady Bengal points. Ball batted away by Erica Christensen. Maintained by Canton. A three-point attempt on the way. That's oh, good. That was nice again. Caitlin Myers. Myers with her first bucket of the game, a deep three. She didn't bring you no snacks today? No. Jeez. Jen Colpitz finds Megan Land over to Mal Caesar. Taylor Boucher in the wing puts up a three. That's Oh, good. yes! Boucher's first three-pointer of the game. We're back in it now. Down 8-7. Down by one. Ball yes. kicked out of bounds back to the Lady Bengals. Megan Lane inbounds to Taylor Boucher. Lane brings the ball up across the time stripe. Finds Mal Caesar, Jen Colpitz, and then back to Megan Land. Caesar at the top of the key, dumps inside to Jen Colpitz. Colpitz finds Caesar. Boucher in the wing. She drives. Looks inside to Erica Christensen. Ball batted away. Fast break for Canton. Shot attempt no good, but a it's foul by Mal, Mal Caesar. Yeah. Lady Bengals look like they got some pretty good ball movement going on, too. Jackie Sedlicek at the line now. Her first attempt is no good. It's good to see a, a, a nice-sized crowd out here for the ladies' game. Making some noise, too. Said last second attempt, no good. Rebounded by Taylor Boucher. She goes ahead to Megan Land. Land kicks it inside to Jen Colpitz. She goes up off last, no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds by Christensen. Lady Kangaroo basketball. Timeout white. UMFK takes a 30 second timeout. Do you need to read your, th your stuff there? You want me to read it? Did you read most of it? Well, th well, since you reminded me, Scott, I might as well say now is as good a time as any to remind everyone that the University of Maine at Fort Kent does welcome all players, officials, and spectators to today's contest. 
UMFK is committed to the true spirit of competition by being a champion of character through the five core character values that UMFK embraces, which are respect, integrity, responsibility, servant leadership, and of course, sportsmanship, which definitely applies to you, Scott, because you are probably the most rowdy fan in this place. Come on, I'm a good sport, Cody. Most of the time. <laughs> Jeez. It's only when people start dissing my Bears or uh, my Manny Ramirez. That Christensen with an interception now. She finds Taylor Boucher. Boucher forward to Jen Colpitz. They dump inside to Mal Caesar. She puts oh! up a shot. No good. Rebounded nice by Erica, Erica Christensen. Boucher swings to Megan Land. Land to Colpitz. Back to Lynn. She dumps it inside for Christensen. Christensen goes up off the yes! gas. That's good. That was sweet. Excellent ball movement there by the Lady Bengals. Like I'm telling you, excellent ball movement. It's a nice bounce pass there and good concentration by Erica Christensen. Christensen at the line looking to give her Lady Bengals a two-point lead. Her shot attempt is good. 10-8 now, Lady Bengals. 13-54 remaining. And we have an out-of-bounds violation on Canton. Violation. Stepped over the line there. And now it goes back to the Lady Bengals. Land over to Colpitz. Colpitz looks inside. Land dumps it in to Erica Christensen, and she fouled. she's fouled again and is going to go to the line for two more. This is not to put any pressure on my good friend sitting to my right, Keith Williams, footballer extraordinaire, but I would be really curious to know uh, Erica Christensen's free throw shooting foul shot percentage. So, uh, if I, my sense is that she rarely misses. She's got to be up there. Like she just slammed she, those two. She is one of the better free throw shooters yes. on the team. Yes. Yes. And as a first-year student, it's uh, nice to think that we're going to have her around for four years. Yep, yep, it's all yours. Canton dumps it inside out to J Sedlacic. Jackie Sedlacic puts up a two, and that's good. 12-10 now, UMFK Bengals. Megan Land finds Jen Colpitz over to Mal Caesar. Caesar dumps it inside to Christensen, kicks back out to the wing to oh Taylor yes! Boucher. And Taylor Boucher hits her second three pointer of the I was game. I going to say, that's her second one. Taylor's a great Lady outside Bengals shooter. on a bit of a roll now. 15 10, 12 55 remaining. Ball tipped out of bounds back to UMFK. Boucher to inbound to Megan Land. Land finds Mal Caesar. Taylor Boucher in the corner again. Three-point attempt, no good. Rebounded by Jackie Sedlacic of Good Canton. pressure there by the Lady Bengals. Kicking violation called on the Lady Bengals. Canton's going to get to inbound underneath their own basket. Canton inbounds and eventually finds Tricia Roland over to Jackie Sedlacic. Back to Roland. Roland dumps it inside. Sedlacic for two. That's good. Bengals up by three now, 15 12. Megan Land on the other end. She puts up a three point attempt. No good. Rebounded by Canton.
I mean, we, we, we really don't want to say anything bad. No, but, no I, but it, 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 it is it, slightly it, humorous to see some is, of the, you know, the reactions of the coaches after a bad play yes. or, a, or a miscommunication out on the floor in the... the T- T- S-U-N-Y Canton coach right now is, is pretty fired up over there on the sideline. Times like this that I wish we had a timeout chair for adults. <laughs> Three-point attempt, long, off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Colpitz. <sighs> Colpitz pushes ahead. Oh, yeah! She drives the lane and goes Way up go, for two. Jen, Jen Colpitz gives her team a seven-point lead, 19-12. 11.03 remaining in the first half. I think we got some good confidence by our uh, Lady Bengals, and it's pretty apparent here with the ball movement, with the uh, good defensive pressure. All right. Rebounding has been much better as well. Yes. Wait till you see Arcilla in there. Yeah, she was tearing it up. Exactly. All right. Hey, Cody, are you doing anything on Tuesdays and Thursdays? I feel Evenings? like I feel like if I say no, I'm gonna somehow commit myself you, to something. You, you got it. You, you, cardio kickboxing. Oh my Car- goodness, cardio Cody. kickboxing. Yeah. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 4:30, right here in the gym. Scott, I don't know if you've seen me late, lately, but I don't exactly have the athletic build of, which, a, which of is, a kickboxer. Which is all the more reason why you need to go do some cardio kickboxing. I'd be, I would be dead after the first couple nah, of minutes. Nah, 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 nah. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I went last Thursday. is a good time. Have you ever seen that play to Cody? Hey, yeah, I, 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 I played him in racquetball. I, I taught him a little bit. Yeah, he's good. He's good. I would like to say I had a good teacher, but my teacher, oh! my teacher was Scott Brickman, so I, I can't really say that. You ought to go to cardio kickboxing, Mr. Williams, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Actually, all you footballers ought to go do that. Nice little, you know, yeah, fun time. Not the most, not, not intense like what you guys do over the summer, but, uh, you know, when you guys do your agility stuff. But Foul called on Ziggy Brown, her first of the game. Oh, Ball Ziggy's in. in. All right. Inbounded. Try to, to uh, find said LASIK there. And a foul called on Jackie said LASIK. Lady Bengals inbound. Pulpits on the wing finds Megan Land over to Mal Caesar. Ziggy Brown Ooh, nice. dumps it inside. No good. Ooh, good idea. Corinne Regal for the Kangaroos pushes the ball up the floor. We don't we don't have number ten on their uh, roster. Or you do. Sorry. That's Tracia Rowland. Okay. Jeez, you get a lot of love, Mr. Williams. <laughs> Let me know what your secret is. <laughs> Corinne Regal for the Kangaroos now. She goes inside, loses the handle. That goes out of bounds. Kind of courteous. Yeah, right. Q Young and Arcella Jeffers check into the game for the Bengals. Every woman walking into <laughs> the seats comes by and gives Mr. Williams a hug and a kiss. Brown finds Land. Land over to Colpitz. She cross-court passes over to Ziggy Brown. Brown nice dumps it inside for Q? Q Young. Ooh, yes. Way to go, Q. Turnaround hook shot there from Q Young. Gives her, Lady Bengals, a 21-12 lead. 9.46 here in the first half. Brittany oh, that Crump was nice. That was nice. For Canton. Crump looks like she's going to be either a three-point shooter. That's that's uh, at least her second. There's Arcilla. Ooh. Arcilla Jeffers two-point attempt, no good. Rebounded by Canton. Close, but no cigar. 
Corinne Regal dumps it inside. Back out to Regal. She puts up a two, no good. Out of bounds to Canton. Two-point attempt there from Canton, no good. It's rebounded by the Lady Bengals. Ziggy Brown goes up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Canton. Brittany Crump on the wing. She looks inside. All right, Zig. Picked off by you. Ziggy Brown. And Jen, way to go. Hugh Young with a great pass there to Jen Colpitz in the lane. She gets a two-point bucket. Very unselfish playing by the Lady Bengals. Up by eight, 23-15. Canton now dumps the ball inside to Brittany Crump. She puts up a turnaround hook shot. Mm. High off the glass, no good. Ball rolls out of bounds to Canton. Canton is going to inbound now. That's Roland on the inline. She inbounds to Brittany Crump. Ooh, look at that. And picked nice off D. by Megan Land. Land goes ahead to Ziggy Brown. Brown finds Easy Jen Colpitz. for Jen. Way to go, girls. Beautiful pass there from Ziggy Brown over to Colpitz. This is what I like to see. Lady Bengals up by 10, 25-15. And some more good D. Way to go. Ooh. That ball's batted away by Q. Young rolls out of bounds back to Canton. Good hustle, Q. Good hustle. Brittany Crump for Canton inbounds to Roland. Oh, nice bad pass there from Roland. Go, Finds Jen Colpitz for the Lady Bengals. Oh, Fast yes. break, two points. 27-15 now, Lady Bengals. Mm. Canton continually trying to uh, dump the ball in low, finding some of their taller girls, but that UMFK Lady Bengal defense is considerably overpowering. Culpitz now over to Ziggy Brown at the top of the key. She finds Q Young. Back Ziggy to Ziggy Brown. Ziggy oh Brown Zig. drives the lane. That's stolen away by Canton. Pass ahead now off the glass. No good, but a travel yes. is called. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really not funny, but... It, uh, by the same token, it kind of is because, I mean, I, I feel bad for the Canton coach because he's, he's just so helpless in this situation, being down by 12 points. It's, it's unfortunate. I think we can say at this point the game has gotten a little out of hand, uh, well, at least if you ask the Canton coach, because he's uh, <laughs> exercising his vocals over there on the sideline. Megan Land puts up a three, no good. Arcilla Jeffers Ooh. with the rebound. Arcilla. Tipped out of bounds to the Lady Bengals. Corinne Regal checks back in for Canton. Land finds Arcella Jeffers in the lane. She goes off the glass, no good, but she's fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Devon, can I have my pen? Or what? No, sorry, guys. We share. Uh, 
28-15, remaining in the first half. <clears throat> Ooh, there we go, another... Another interception here for the Lady Bengals. Yeah. Beautiful pass there from Q Young ahead to Jen Colpitz. It's like Colpitz has, you know, radar on the baskets. She's playing with a GPS or something. Lady Bengals are winning this game on defense right now. Their defense has been stellar here in the first half. It's old cliche, sometimes the best offense is a good defense. Another good Another. defensive play. Way to go. Way to go, Jen. Picked off by Jen Colpitz. Oh. Double dribble called on Quintina Young. Canton inbounds. Corinne Regal crosses the time stripe for the Canton Kangaroos. Regal drives the lane. Stolen again from Jen Colpitz. She lobs Q? ahead to Q Young. Oh! And Q Young can't finish on the layup. Bad pass there from Canton. That goes out of bounds. Back to the UMFK Lady Bengals. Up by 15 now. 535 remaining in the first half. Taylor Boucher for the Lady Bengals. Finds Ziggy Brown. Brown over to Colpitz. Cross court Taylor pass to Taylor alone. Boucher. She puts up for three. All the time That's good. In the world. Boucher's third three pointer of the game. I think she did her homework before she took that shot. Thirty three fifteen now, five oh eight remaining. Lady Bengals up big. Nice move there. Yep, that was nice. Courtney Whalen. For the for the Canton Ruse. Boucher now on the wing for the Lady Bengals. She goes inside to Arcilla Jeffers. Beautiful oh, yeah. pass there nice. from Arcilla Jeffers. Nice way to go, Jeffers. Arcilla. That was sweet. Finds Jen Colpitz up off the glass for two. Oh, good Excellent defense. defense. Go. And no, amazing on, ball handling yourself. on the offensive end. Like I said, Q Young. Way to listen, up Q. Off the glass for two. 37-17, UMFK Lady Bengals. And this game, within just the last two or three minutes, Scott, has gotten very out of hand. Yes, but uh, I'm just as... Uh, Lady Bengals are playing good, let's just say. They're, they're really capitalizing on every miscue by SUNY Canton. And um, I think um, the confidence that they probably are coming into this game with their three wins in a row is really showing with, with, the, with I, that. I am and continually impressed as the game progresses yep. with defensive rebounding and ball handling, especially yep. ball handling. Very few turnovers for the Lady Bengals. First-year coach Brad Hullabaird is, uh, I think, visibly has a different demeanor this game, and, and it's understandable because the girls are girls are really um, up in their game. Must have given a great pregame speech in the locker room, Scott, because <laughs> <laughs> they are on top of their game today. After the timeout, Canton inbounds. Jackie said Lasik runs the offense for the Ruse. She dumps inside. Goes off the glass for two. That's good. That's number 34, Caitlin Myers with the two. Let's go, girls. 358 left. Ooh. Whitney Sinclair checks in for the Lady Bengals that during was, that timeout. It was about the... Uh, Corinne Regal goes off the glass, no good, but Sedlasic is there for the cleanup two-pointer. It's about the first real serious miscue there by the Lady Bengals. Megan Lynn now over to Whitney Sinclair. Sinclair finds Boucher. Boucher backs down her defender, kicks out to Whitney Sinclair. Sinclair out to Megan Land. Now Taylor Boucher in the corner. 
kick violation uh, called shoot. on Caitlin Myers of Canton. Sinclair now to inbound. She finds Arcella Jeffers. And out to Megan Land. Q Young on the wing. She dumps it inside for Arcella Jeffers. Jeffers goes up. Oh. Traveling violation called there on Arcella Jeffers. Corinne Regal for Canton. Brings the ball up the floor. Caught crosses the time stripe. Being heavily guarded by Whitney Sinclair. Said Lasik now for Canton. Goes inside. Dishes back out to Caitlin Myers. Good defensive pressure from the Lady Bengals. Oh. And a foul called on Quintina Young. I don't know. It's great to see uh, Whitney Sinclair there. It's always good to see our dual sport athletes playing Whitney Sinclair and Savannah Ash helping out the Lady Bengals. Christensen and Caesar check back in for the Lady Bengals. Caitlin Myers now for Canton. Foul line jumper, that's good. 23-37 now. Lady Bengals still on top. 2.40 left to go in the uh, half. Sinclair now finds Taylor Boucher at the top of the key. Boucher foul line jumper off yes. the glass and good. Way to go, Whit. Way to go, Taylor. Same intensity that Whitney Sinclair has on the soccer field, she brings to the basketball court. Said Lasik now for Canton. Dishes it inside and nice a jump ball. By Mal. Good play there by Mal Caesar, not fouling and recognizing where the ball was. She muckled a hold of that thing and got a jump ball call. Possession to the Lady Bengals. Taylor Boucher now directing her offense. Sinclair finds Taylor Boucher. Boucher dribbling around the top of the key. Erica Christensen. Back to Taylor. Back out to Taylor Boucher Ooh. for three. No good. Long rebound by Mal nice Caesar. Nice hustle by Mal. Way to go. Excellent. Excellent. Boucher controls the ball for the Finds Megan Bengals. Land. Oh, a little heavy. Rebounded by Canton. Shoot. Lady Bengals up by 16, 39-23. It's amazing how I could do math. I didn't think music teachers were that good at anything. I know, we, we can only count to four. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling violation called on Canton. Possession to the UMFK Lady Bengals. Jen Colpitz, another dual sport athlete. Land crosses the time stripe and finds Jen Colpitz. Colpitz dumps it off to Taylor Boucher. Boucher goes up for the shot. That's no good. Rebounded by Canton. Caitlin Myers now for Canton. Controls the ball. She crosses the time stripe. Finds Corinne Regal. Myers at the foul line. She goes up for two. Off the glass. Oh, no good. Go, Rebounded Erica. by Erica Christensen. Nice D, nice rebound, Erica. Way to go. Megan Land for the Lady Bengals controls. She gives it off to 30 Jen seconds Colpitz. left. Colpitz drives the lane. She goes off the glass. No good. Oh, yes. Rebounded by Christensen. She goes up for two. 15 seconds remain here in the first half. 41 23. Lady Bengals up big. Foul called now on Mal Caesar. You going to give us some stats at half? Foul well, number 33, Mal Caesar. That's your second. Do you have season stats too? No. Uh, Alyssa St. Germain goes to the line now for two.
St. Germain is good on her first attempt. Downtown Ziggy Brown. St. Germain's second attempt on the way. No good. Rebounded by Taylor Boucher. 41-24, oh. UMFK Lady Bengals. Ball batted away there by Caitlin Myers. That rolls out of bounds. Lady Bengal ball. 6.6 .6 seconds remaining here in the first half. Come on, girls. Let's work some magic. Boucher finds Jen Colpitz. Five seconds left. Oh. Megan Land for three. No good. Rebounded Gets by Land. Rebound. Gets her own rebound. She's fouled at the buzzer. And just like that, the first half comes to an end after Megan shoots her free throws. Foul was called before the buzzer rang, so Land is going to get two shots. Yes. All right, girls go into the half with a 19-point lead. 43-24. Math is getting better, Cody. Yes. Okay, second half of play coming up from the UMFK jungle when we return.
Welcome back, everyone, to the UMFK Jungle here in Fort Kent, Maine. After the first half, we've got a 43-24 lead for the UMFK Lady Bengals. Caitlin Myers for the Lady Kangaroos of Canton led the way with seven points, and we had two Lady Bengals in double digits. We had Taylor Boucher with 11 points, and leading all scores was Jen Colpitz for the Lady Bengals with 14 points. Traveling violation to open the second half. UMFK inbounds, finds Whitney Sinclair. Sinclair now finds Quintina Young at the top of the key. Young over to Sinclair and over to Colpitz. Ooh. Pass batted out of bounds to UMFK. Lady Bengals inbound. Megan Land finds Q Young. Jen Colpitz now drives the lane. Ooh, goes up off nice the glass. Rebound. No good. Rebound by Mal oh. Caesar. She can't Jeez. hit. Two very good opportunities there, yep. but no basket. Canton now. That's Brittany Crump driving the lane. She kicks back out. Three-point attempt. No good. Quintina Young for the Lady Bengals. Gets the rebound. Makes a bad pass. It's turned over. And the Lady Ruse get two easy ones there. Megan Land for the Lady Bengals crosses the time stripe. Finds Whitney Sinclair. Sinclair over to Jen Colpitz. She dribbles around the top of the key. Colpitz to Whitney Sinclair. Sinclair finds Megan Land. Good ball movement here from the Lady Bengals. It's dished inside to Mal Caesar. Caesar goes up for two. Ooh. No good. Go, Rebounded girls. by Canton. Jackie said LASIK dumps it inside. Shot attempt, no good. But a foul by the Lady Bengals. Mal Caesar committing her third foul. And the first foul of the second half. Alyssa St. Germain at the line now. Looks to draw her Lady Ruse a little bit closer. It's 43-27, 18-29 remaining in the second half. St. Germain's second attempt is good. 43-28 now. Q Young inbounds to Megan Land. Land brings the ball up the floor, crosses the time stripe. She finds Erica Christensen over to Jen Colpitz. Colpitz finds Taylor Boucher for three, no good. Ooh. Rebounded to Corinne Regal. Three-point attempt from Canton on the way. That's Whoa, good. That was nice. That's number Let's 10, Tricia Rowland. Thirty-second timeout taken by the Lady Bengals. I think the rebounding here in the second half is still pretty good, but the ball handling has gotten a little bit sloppier for the Lady Bengals. Sometimes when you're up by a big lead, it's hard to carry the intensity, and uh, let's hope that our girls can do it. They open this half with a 19-point lead. It's now 43-31 for the Lady Bengals. 18 minutes remaining in the closing half. Taylor Boucher for the Lady Bengals on point. She finds Megan Land. Boucher now dumps it inside to Erica Christensen. Christensen with a two-point oh, that attempt. That's nice. good. Where to go, Erica? <laughs> K 
Canton now. That's St. Germain. She goes over to Roland. Roland for three, no good. Rebounded by Megan Land of the Lady Bengals. Taylor Boucher now looks inside to Erica Christensen. Christensen, good power move there, goes inside. Oh, that was nice. Way to go. Turnaround jumper there for Erica Christensen. Way to go. Brittany Crump now over to Caitlin Myers, the Canton Roo's leading scorer for the first half. She can't hit on her two-point attempt, and the ball is taken by Erica Christensen Jeez. down low. Three jumpers in a row Whoa. now to open this half for Erica Christensen. This is like for Erica. Just like Jen, she's got her GPS locked in on that basket. Jeez, way to go. Way to go, girls. And SUNY Ganton takes a full timeout. Huh? Uh, SUNY Canton. Lady Bengals haven't seemed to miss a step, have they, Scott? They uh, nope. They let Canton pull to within, I think it was 12 or 13. Yep. Now they're back up to a 19-point lead, which is their what, biggest of the game. Well, what they had by half. Yep. So it's nice to see our uh, nice to see our girls. Uh, I guess persisting. The, I guess the next thing to hope for is that our UMFK men's team plays. Yes. Equally as well as the girls are. Yes, a lot of game left here, though, but I agree with you, Mr. Tracy. I agree. Canton inbounds now. Josiah Roland brings the ball up the floor for the Lady Roos. Caitlin Myers now controls the ball. She looks for said LASIK, but is fouled by Erica Christensen. Lady Roos inbound to Brittany Crump. Over in the corner, she finds Caitlin Myers. Myers with a cross court pass over to said LASIK. Said LASIK now to Roland. Roland tries driving. She stopped. Brittany Crump with a jump shot. No good. Rebounded by Sed Lasik of Canton. And uh, Sed Lasik with a 15-foot jumper. Oh, nice pass there from Colpitz inside to Erica oh. Christensen. Christensen kicks back out. Sh lazy pass there, picked off by Caitlin Myers of Canton. And she goes up off the glass for two. Lady Bengals up 49-34. 15-44 left to go in the half. Cole Pitts dumps inside to Erica Christensen. Nice Foul. move there to go up off the glass, but she's fouled. Basket no good. And she'll head to the line for two. And knowing what a great free throw shooter she is, I'm sure. Yep. Well, you can uh, just about bank on these two going in. Let's hope. One. Yes, you called it, Mr. Tracy. Way to go. Christensen hits both. Gives her Lady Bengals a 51-34 lead. So nice to see such a good free throw shooter, though, you know? Yes. Rolling for Canton for three. No good. Rebounded by Sed Lasik. She finds Brittany Crump. Crump with a jumper. No good. Rebounded by Jen Colpitz. Colpitz now over to Megan Land. Land dishes it off inside to Erica Christensen. She finds Q Young at the free throw line. Christensen being double teamed now by Canton. But she turns around and spots up for two. No Taylor good. Gets rebound. her own rebound. Finds Taylor Boucher out on the wing. 
Oh! Pass there from Megan Land is tipped and picked off by Caitlin Myers. She goes up for two, no good. But Sedlacek is there and she goes off the glass for two. Megan Land now over to Q Young. Young finds Boucher at the top of the key. She swings it over to find Jen Kolpitz. Kolpitz goes inside to Erica Christensen, being double teamed again. Traveling violation called on Erica Christensen. Rolling now for Canton. Looks for Caitlin Myers, but Where that's picked Jen. off by Jen Colpitz. Here we go again. Colpitz gets on a fast break, and for the first time all game, she can't hit on a fast break, too. And that leads to two more points from SUNY Canton at the other end. It's now 38 49. Canton mounting a pretty good charge here in the early going of the second half. Legal defense there. Ziggy Brown for the Lady Bengals inbounds to Taylor Boucher. Back to Zig. Boucher finds Colpitz in the corner. She dishes it off to Arcella Jeffers. And Jeffers, no good on her two point attempt, but she's fouled. She's going to go to the line for two. There's way to go, Arcella. Hits her first. St. Germain checks back in for SUNY Canton. And Arcilla Jeffers' second attempt. No ah. good. Rebounded by St. Germain. Lady Bengals up by 12, 50 38, with 13 20 left to go in the half. It's a good thing that you're checking my math, Cody. That's right. I'm probably the wrong person to be checking your math. Nah, I don't know. Oh, way to go, Arcella. Nice rebound. Arcella Jeffers with a rebound after two missed attempts there from SUNY Canton. Ziggy Brown looking for Jen Colpitz. That's batted out of bounds to the Lady Bengals. Ziggy Brown for the Lady Bengals inbounds to Taylor Boucher. Boucher back to Brown. Swings over to Colpitz. Colpitz looks inside for Arcilla Jeffers. She goes up off the glass for oh, two yes, in the foul. the foul. Way to go. Way to go, Arcilla. Good play there from Arcilla Jeffers. It was a very difficult entry pass there from Colpitz, and she maintained control and went off the glass for two. That uh, foul was called on Brittany Crump. That's her second of the game. She checks out for the Lady Ruse. Oh, yes. And Jeffers hits her free throw to complete the three-point play. 53-38, 12-46 remaining in regulation. Arcilla Jeffers comes up with a steal. Ah. Jen Colpitz looking for Ziggy Brown. She throws it away. And said Lasik for the Canton Roos comes back. Nice rebound, Erica. Two Way point go. attempt, no good. Rebounded by Erica Christensen. Oh, come on, girls. Good hustle, though. Come on. Ball handling here is starting to be an issue for the Lady Bengals in the second half. St. Germain now for two. That's good. 
53-40. Lady Bengals in charge right now, but a 30-second timeout taken by UMFK. Timeout concludes. 13 point lead for the UMFK Lady Bengals. 12.05 remaining here in the second half. Taylor Boucher for the Lady Bengals inbounds to Jen Colpitz. Boucher finds Ziggy Brown. Brown back to Boucher. Boucher looks inside for Arcilla Jeffers. Instead, she spots up. That long two is no good. Rebounded by SUNY Canton. Corinne Regal for Canton on the other end comes down the lane. Cannot connect on her shot, but she's fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Colpitz called for the foul. Corinne Regal hits her first attempt. She's going to get one more. Shot on the way. That's good. 42-53. This is the closest that Canton's been to the Lady Bengals in a while. We'll see if they can make any magic happen here in the second half. And... Make this a ball game again. Nice pass, Taylor. Christensen inside goes oh, up for yes, two. Way to go! That was sweet. Nice pass there from Taylor Boucher to find Erica Christensen for two. Long two taken by Canton, no good. And that rolls out of bounds to the Lady Bengals. Boucher now finds Colpitts. Colpitz back to Boucher, who's going to be running the point for the Lady Bengals. She slowly works the ball up the floor, crossing the time stripe, finds Jen Colpitz. Colpitz dishes it inside to Arcilla Jeffers. Arcilla goes up, no good. Uh -oh. But a traveling violation called before the shot. Another UMFK Lady Bengal turnover. Corinne Regal for the SUNY Canton Lady Roos. Brings the ball up the floor. Finds Caitlin Myers. They d dish it inside. That's tipped out of bounds to the Lady Kangaroos. Jackie said LASIK inbounds to Caitlin Myers. Myers finds Corinne Regal. Back to said LASIK for two. No good. Rebounded by Arcella Jeffers, and Ziggy Brown pushes ahead to Jen Colpit. She goes yes, up off the glass nice for going. two. Way to go, girls. Way to go all the way around. Lady Bengals up by 15 now, 57-42 with 10 minutes and 15 seconds left to go. Oh, Arcella! A steal oh, yeah. by Arcella Jeffers. Slam? And she goes up off the nope. glass, no good. Yes. But Erica Way Christensen go, Erica. is there for the rebound, and she goes up for two. There. <laughs> Good hustle play there from both Jeffers and Christensen. Lady Bengals back up by 17 now. Caitlin Myers for the Canton Roos drives the lane. She goes up. That's good for two. 44-59 now. Lady Bengals still in command. Arcilla oh. Jeffers looks for Ziggy Brown. Way to hustle, That's batted Erica. away. Finds Taylor in the corner. Boucher's three-point attempt, no good. Ziggy Rebounded by Ziggy rebound. Brown. Brown oh, spots Zig. up for two, no good. Rebounded by Taylor Boucher. She goes up off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Jackie Sedlasic for Canton. Sedlasic dumps it off inside. Two-point attempt, no good. 
no good again. And Corinne Regal in the paint kicks it back out. Two point attempt, no good. Rebounded by Arcella Jeffers. She pushes Here the ball we up go. the floor What's quickly to Jen Colpitz. Colpitz goes off surprise, the glass for surprise. two more fast break points. Way to go, Jen. We're going to have a, third, a full timeout here from SUNY Canton. Hey, Jen Colpitz has made her living today off those fast break yes. cherry picker points, as, as you might call them. It's all right. Hey, we'll take them. You know, credit to our girls. They are, uh, they're, they're keeping up the intensity the second half, and uh, the score shows it. 61-44, 8-46 remaining in the second half. I don't know about you, Brickman, but I'm really, really looking forward to the okay. men's game following this. Sure, I'm looking forward. I, li I like what I see here, but looking forward to the men's, ga men's game. I thought you were going to say I'm really, really hungry. <laughs> I thought well, that, that too. Really? That too. I'm, I'm always hungry. Well, I offered to buy you food at the, at the half. Either, either hungry or tired. Sound like my, you sound like my pet dog, Brandy. Hungry and tired. <laughs> right now, I'm a little bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> Just as long as you don't, don't ask me to take you out for a walk, Cody, <laughs> we're doing okay. <sighs> oh, careful, Drew, we're on the air. Behave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suni Canton inbounds after the timeout. Oh, uh oh, oh let's hope she's okay. Ooh, that didn't look pretty. All right, she's so okay. Lasik with good, a big slip good, there. Good, Ball good. rolls out of bounds yeah. to the Lady Bengals. Boucher inbounds to Jen Colpitz. Colpitz over to Ziggy Brown. Colpitz now pushes the ball up the floor. Christensen dishes it off inside to Arcilla Jeffers. Jeffers goes up off the glass yes, for two. Yes, way to go, Arcilla. Power move there from Arcilla Jeffers. Hey, we got our we got our height in there now, both with Erica and Arcilla. Caitlin Myers now for Canton. Works the ball around the three-point line. Alyssa well, Saint Germain nice for three. That was a nice shot. Saint Germain gives life to her Lady Ruse here with a three-pointer. 63-47, Bengals up. 7.56 left to go in the half. Taylor Boucher kicks out mm. to Jen Colpitz. Colpitz finds Christensen for a free throw. <laughs> free throw line jumper. And Christensen, surprisingly, has more points from 10 and 15 foot jumpers hey. than she does in the paint. You know, we'll take them. We'll take them. Speaks to their versatility. Oh, what's going to happen here? Jen Colpitz with the steal. Goes and up off the, the glass basket. for two. Colpitz having a whale of a game. Lady Bengals with their largest lead now. They're up by 20, 67-47. I don't, I don't like speculating because I... Oh, look at... Hey, dude, I, dude. Arcilla was... Oh! Tra traveling violation called on Arcilla after right, a, a good right. steal there. But it's good hustle, Arcilla. I hate speculating, Scott, good. because I always end up looking stupid, but I would have to guess that Jen Colpitz has... Close to 25, 27 points now. Wouldn't surprise... 20? 20. 20? Keith says... Mr. Williams says 20. 20. Okay. That's a I bit I surprising. I would have thought she had I more, but... Yeah, I, I wonder if Mr. Williams is paying attention. No. <laughs> Our stat man often gets Dude. lost. No, 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 no. He's lost great. in confusion. He's great. Nice rebound by Erica Christensen. Hey, 20 is, oh. Jen Colpitz, nice pass to Arcilla Way to Jeffers. go, Arcilla. Nice, nice play, girls. Way to go. At this point, Scott, it's, it's almost too easy. 22. They're up by 22, Lady Bengals. Lady Ruse dish it inside. That's good. Alyssa St. Germain. Come on, Zig. And a steal now. By Sedlasic and Sedlasic for the Lady Roos. Nice going, Bad Jen. Pass there, and that's intercepted by Ziggy Brown. 
Ziggy dishes it off to Jen Kulpitz. Taylor Boucher in the corner for three, no Ooh, good. Arcella nice. Jeffers goes for the rebound, but she's going to get called for over the back there. Uh. I actually, I, I, I got to correct myself. I, you know, it's amazing now that I'm doing this that I say over the back because being a spectator in high school, I always used to say over the back. But I've learned that there's no such thing as over the back. It's on the back. All right. Okay. Well, Cody, don't knock, your, knock yourself. You were a spectator in high school, but you also played, which was a lot more than I did. R regarding basketball, that I is. tried. You tried. You played. But I am signed up for fundamentals of basketball this fall. Ooh, nice bounce pass. Uh. Brittany Crump for the Lady Roos to inbound. She finds Tricia Rowland. 5.35 remaining in the closing half of play. 69-49, 20-point lead for the Lady Bengals and a steal by Taylor Boucher. Boucher looks ahead to Jen Colpitz. Colpit slowly works the ball up the floor. She finds Erica Christensen. Lady Christiansen. Bengals are going to start working the clock, I bet. Christensen over to Ziggy Brown. Brown finds Jen Colpit over to Taylor Boucher. Five remaining on the shot clock. Colpit's inside to Arcella Jeffers. A shot put up by Erica Christensen, no Ooh, good. Most. Got that shot away just as the shot clock expired. Rebounded by Jackie Sedlasic of Canton. Sedlasic, nice pass inside to Alyssa St. Germain. Lady Bengals still up by 18 with 4.44 left to go in the half. In the game, I should say, in the half. Erica Christensen over to Ziggy Brown at the top of the key. She finds Jen Colpitz back to Brown over to Boucher. Five on the shot clock. Boucher now. Traveling violation called on Taylor Boucher. You can tell that the Lady Bengals are trying to, to milk the clock a little exactly. bit. Exactly, yep. I think the last two possessions was the first time all game that they let the shot clock get to within five seconds. Right. Caitlin Myers for Canton finds Alyssa St. Germain. That two-point attempt is no good. Rebounded by Arcilla Jeffers. Nice bounce nice, pass. Nice bounce pass from Jen Colpitz Jen to over Megan to Land. Megan Land. That's right, Megan. Land in the corner for three. That's Ooh. no good. Caitlin Myers Shoot. for Canton with the rebound. Good idea, girls. Said Lasik for Canton drives the lane. Kicks out to... Caitlin Myers. Q is coming in for uh, Arcilla. Brittany Crump now for Canton to inbound. She finds Caitlin Myers. Myers now over to said Lasik. Sedlasic over to Crump. Back to Sedlasic. To Alyssa St. Germain. And finally to Caitlin Myers, where she puts up a two point attempt. No good. Rebounded by Erica Christensen. 69 51. 310 remaining in regulation. Jen Colpitz now for the Lady Bengals. Finds Megan Land in the corner. She drives. Kicks out to Erica Christensen. Christensen Back goes to inside to Q Young. Young goes up for two, no good. Rebounded by Tracia Rowland. Crump now over to St. Germain. Oh, ho, ho, picked nice off again by Jen, Jen Colpitz, and she's going to go up off the glass for number 22. 22 points now for Jen Colpitz. She leads all scores. I don't know. 
All right. Erica Christensen now with a rebound after that missed shot. Foul called now on, I believe, Jackie said LASIK for Canton. Savannah Ash, she's her first minutes of the game. She hey, checks in for Jen Colpitz. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Megan Land dishes it off inside to Erica Christensen. She goes up oh, off the glass way to for go, two. Erica. Seven to three, UMFK Bengals up big. Here with just under two minutes remaining in regulation. You need to hold the sign higher, Lisa. She's not looking. Oh, come on. <laughs> We have the, the official Savannah Ash fan club out here. Emily Jerson checks in for the Lady Bengals. Jerson now controlling the ball. She dishes it inside to Erica Christensen. Out to Savannah Ash. Ash finds Land. Three-point attempt, no good. Rebounded by Erica Christensen. Megan Land in the corner now over to Mal Caesar. Megan Land over to Savannah Ash. Uh, Looking for Emily Jerson. That's tipped out of bounds. Lady Bengal ball. <laughs> Lady Bengals inbound. Savannah Ash finds Emily Jerson. Jerson. Back to Savannah. Ash drives the lane. She goes up off the glass for two. No good. Good try, Savannah. There we go. Way to hustle, Ball Megan. picked oh, off oh, 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 oh. by Savannah Ooh, Ash. Right there. Hope everyone's okay. Ball tipped out of bounds. Whoa. That's going to go to SUNY Canton. Well, one minute and 11 seconds left. Lady Bengals up by 22. Mal Caesar, good defensive pressure there on Tricia Rowland. Rowland finds Sedlasic. Three point attempt in the corner, no good. Rebounded by Sedlasic. Oh, nice block by Erica Christensen. Way to go. Emily Jerson comes away with the ball. She finds Megan Land. Land works the ball up the floor. Crosses the time stripe, dishes off to Savannah Ash. Ash finds Mal Caesar in the corner. She dishes it off inside Ooh, a rare to Erica Christensen. Erica Christensen. She misses the two-point attempt, rebounded by Jackie Sedlasic. Sedlasic dishes it off to the corner. Three-point attempt, no good. Rolls off the rim and out of bounds. All right. 17 S seconds remaining. In Stand the up and give our Bengals girls a hand. Way to, to go, get a very, girls. Very convincing win here. Yes. At home. Four in a row. Way to go, ladies. You should be very proud of yourselves. Four in a row. 73 Way 51. To go, 17 seconds to play. And the Lady Bengals slowly work the ball up the floor. 10 seconds now. Savannah Ash over to Mal Caesar. To Megan Land. Five seconds remaining. Mal Caesar is going to hold the ball, and that's going to do it. Woo! Way to go, girls! From the UMFK Yay. jungle as the UMFK Lady Bengals, led by Jen Colpitz, have a convincing 73-51 win. May I hope green you'll all stay and tuned. gold stay in our hearts forever, UMFK. I wish you wouldn't sing. You have a horrible, horrible voice. Where's your school spirit? I hope you'll all uh, stick around for the UMFK. <laughs> men's basketball game as they take on SUNY Canton here in about 15 minutes. All right. Oh, come on. Sign